Welcome to this video tutorial on Strategy Settings and Trade Universe. After completing this, you will be able to incorporate slippages and commission cost. Define risk management conditions, such as maximum number of orders per day and maximum quantity per order. And select the assets the strategy will trade on. What are the strategy settings? Strategy settings allow you to define parameters that are applied at the strategy level. For example, these settings will allow you to specify slippages, order limits, and quantity limits. The strategy settings are available in the blue strategy block. The order limits help to restrict placing a large number of orders in a day. And quantity limits help to restrict large quantities in one single order. This restriction helps to reduce slippages. Sometimes, you might require to place a restriction at the strategy level such as only long positions are allowed. This restriction can be achieved by setting the long only flag to true. For the crossover strategy, you set it to false, as this strategy takes both long and short positions. You can also set slippage and commission costs for your strategy. But what are the slippage and commission costs? Slippage is the difference between the expected price and the actual price at which the trade is executed. The commission is the fees charged by your broker to enable you to trade. You can check with your broker, or look at your contract statement to fill this value. BlueShift provides different datasets such as US equities, India equities, and FX markets. In this tutorial, you will be developing the crossover strategy for US equities and use data of minute frequency. Therefore, you can select NYSE minute here. How to specify the names of the assets your strategy will trade on. For that, click on the Define Universe button. You can think of the universe as the place to define all the assets which your strategy can trade. You will see two types of blocks. One is the Set Universe and the other is Select Assets. Drag the Set Universe block to connect it with the Define Universe step. Then drag the Select Assets block next to the Set Universe. You must be wondering, how to select which assets will be traded by the strategy. Click on the Select Assets drop-down. From the list, you can select various assets. We will select the Technip FMC stock. It is an oil and gas company in the USA, and has the stock symbol FTI. You can select multiple assets, and remove any selected assets by clicking on the cross. What to do if the asset which you are looking for is not there in the drop-down? This is usually because the asset is not present in the dataset selected in the defined strategy block. For example, you will not be able to find the EURUSD symbol in the NYSE Minute dataset. Make sure you pick the correct dataset. That's all for this video. Coming up next is the introduction to variables and alpha functions.